And then I win the Man Booker Prize, and I think, well, this could be the most, this could be the most brilliant Blackley comic story of it all. What if this novel, which wasn't then going to be called Zootan, it was going to be called End Of, <laughs> meaning End Of Everything. Uh, which was a title that was not going to work because my publisher didn't know what it meant. What's end of me? I thought, wouldn't this be the blackest joke of all if this novel, which could be the funniest, I won't say the best, but could be the could was on the way to being the funniest thing I'd ever written, and maybe the funniest novel anybody had ever written was ruined by winning the Man Booker Prize. <laughs> the whole, you know, my 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 last chance to write a total total comic masterpiece buggered up by the Man Booker Prize. I liked that idea, that had a sh shapeliness to it. And I thought, how do you go back to writing liter a novel about literary failure after that? Um, well, I'll tell you what happens. You, you win a thing like that. Actually, I'm, I am under orders from myself to stop talking about the Man Booker Prize. It's, it's becoming you know, undignified to keep talking about it. But anyway, this is the last time. <laughs> um, you, it takes over your life, and it's you know, and it's extraordinary, and, and amazing things happen. When the, the minute it became, the minute it won that prize, it became uh, number one bestseller in Pakistan for five weeks. Can you imagine that? A novel about about London, about three London Jewish, three London men, two of whom are Jewish, talking about Israel and all that, being read avidly in Pakistan. It's even a little fantasy, fantasy of mine that that was how they caught Osama bin Laden. <laughs> but Osama bin Laden was reading it. Because you know how they said they were surprised? He put up no resistance. Why did he put up no resistance? He was reading the Finkler question. He was shedding tears where tears were appropriate. He was laughing where laughter was appropriate. The Americans got him. And, I, and one shouldn't, I'm not sure that one should wish him to have had you know, a happy hour before he died. But if he was reading one of my novels, maybe he did die, you know, happily and at, and at peace. Anyway, uh, all this happens, uh, the prize takes your life over and you're very pleased and you think everything is fantastic in the world and then little by little normality, things settle down and normality gets you. And what I'd like to call retrospective bitterness sets in. <laughs> you remember and you start thinking all these things that I'm being showered with, because you get honours, you know, your old college honours you and things like that, where was it before? Just because I've won the prize, I've written, I've written good novels before the Finkler question. Between ourselves, I think I've written better novels than the Finkler question. Where, were, where was it all then? Only now, now that I've got the imprimatur, they can all love me. So you start being, feeling quite, it's, it's madness, but you actually start feeling angry and even kind of jealous. The old self starts feeling jealous of the new self for having won what it didn't win. <laughs> so it turned out not to be all that difficult to, um, to be able to go back to a novel about, about literary failure.